per hall. So what I do today, so I want to create an event which with a Terraform. Okay. So Terraform, you know, basically it's a infrastructure as a code. Okay, we write the code and we deploy now AWS. So that will create a event bridge and everything. So I quickly go to event bridge and I, I, I will show you like what are the things that, that it will create. So it will create event buses, it create rules, it create archives. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about the replace later. So what I want to create, I want to create these three. Okay, with the, with the use of Terraform. Let's say go to here. I, I have I have one server where uh, like uh, where the Terraform is already installed. So we'll come to the server. Go to EC2 instance connect. Okay. So now now what will happen? Uh, let's say Terraform you can install Windows mission or Linux mission. We think you can install. Let's you can check. Okay. So you can check whether let's say it's already installed. You can type Terraform. So you can see the commands here. Okay. So now quickly go go and uh, like uh, deploy using Terraform. Okay, AWS event bridge. So what I will do, I go to here. Just type Terraform. Terraform AWS event bridge. Okay. Event bridge. So this will open modules. Reset.terraform.io event bridge. Okay, it is modules. So there is a lot of modules provided here. This is the code. Okay, you can download this code using git clone. Code, take this, copy this and git clone. As you know, like how to download to your know, server. I think I have downloaded already. So you can see this is my code. Terraform AWS event bridge. Okay, in this code you can see uh, like main, like uh, uh, you can download that one. But uh, what I did actually, uh, that is not required. Uh, okay, download or even not required. Okay, because uh, uh, I think you know, Terraform init, as you know, like uh, if you type Terraform init, what it will do? It will download the modules. Okay, from your uh, like uh, whatever you uh, mentioned in the main.ts, right? So you can see ls hyphen al. So you can see dot terraform folder. You can go to dot terraform. You can go to modules. Okay, in this modules, you can go to event bridge module. Okay. In this event bridge, you can see the same code im.tf, main.tf, output.tf, example version, state allowed.md, 33678 name files. I think same files. Wow, you can see one, two, three, four. Okay, same files. It will turn it down from here itself. Okay, so now we have a code. We have a code. Now, what we want to do? Okay, I want to spin. Let's say code here. Error from AWS. I want to create event bridge. Event bridge create. Okay, there's the resources. If you go to this link, uh, you can find the resources. Come down. You can see here. See, it will create. It will take from this module, okay. You know, you know, source is the source, okay. So, you can it will create a bus, it will create a rules, it will create a targets, everything. So, I want to create, let's say, I have already the code. Let's say, I'll go to my GitHub, okay. I have already code. I'll show my code first, okay. I have this event with to get repository, and you can access this repository as well. If you go to my code, so not main.tf, where you can see. Uh, event uh, this is the code so we are using event which module source you know like uh, it, it, it coming from the module right and you can no bus name i given my bus and uh, targets uh, false i made okay now only targets for me and rules so i created a rule okay and i create archives as well so archives you know retention days you know description you know uh, like these are the patterns okay so this will create for me uh, like uh, uh, as you know, bus it will create, it will create rules, it create it, it create archives. There are three things it will do. So quickly, I'll go to here and I'll deploy. Okay. So, uh, CD, I'll go to LS, I'll go to CD, Terraform, AWS, Event Bridge. Okay, I'll type LS, I'll go to va.main.tf, where I can check once again. So, Event Bridge will create, create rules, create archives. Okay, this is the code for me, this is the basic code I have. Not much deep code. So what I do? Terraform FMT. You know to check uh, whether syntax is good or not. Then you can uh, plan. Plan you can check what, like what what are things that that is going to deploy. Okay. So in plan you can see uh, there is a four changes. Four is added. So you can check uh, that is one of the role AWS IAM role for event pitch. And you can check uh, uh, there is the archive. There is event bus. Okay. There is event rule as well. Okay. 
so so what we need to do so we need to deploy this how do you deploy error form apply iphone iphone auto approve this command will help you to deploy quickly okay so now what 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 are things it will create, create a bus it will create a uh, as you know rules and it will create a uh, there is a one more uh, im road okay and uh, one more archive okay you can check error form list so this will help you what are things are deployed deployed like i am policy cloud watch archive cloud watch event bus cloud watch event rule okay and even i am road so quickly go to here i was working with mumbai region so you can go to event breach to go to mumbai just refresh this tab and check now what are the things that is created using a so go to event buses okay there's a bus created called my bus you can see here and here you can see rules rule is created for this event bus you can go to here you can check my bus and there is a, a rule is created uh i think logs rule not logs rule uh you can check uh, cat main.ts so they get to a name uh what is the name here rules description capture log data so logs rule or you can check my bus my bus there is a two actually i think two rules is created uh capture log data this is the description this is the rule okay logs rule okay then you can see archives okay archive you can see uh whatever things i created from here archive you know right it will archive okay from the few days okay you can see here create archive you can select source and you can pretension but you can select so everything we made with the terraform okay whether it is event bus whether it is rules whether it is archives okay so quickly i'll show you a small demo to understand better with the what with the terraform with the event bridge okay give me one second so we got so now what we do let's say uh, we destroy this okay we create these three items one is event bus one is rules one is archive okay there's one is uh, option is replay so we have to like uh, start a new replay using the uh, uh, using the drama so that we'll see later so what i do uh, i will delete this okay how to delete go to terraform and this terraform and pc to instance and okay how to destroy let's see when you when you work with the terraform the equate to using terraform then you take the the using terraform let's go to here type terraform uh, i think you should go this folder okay terraform my plus event bridge then terraform destroy okay this is the command where you uh, like cut the resources okay so there is a i think you can able to delete uh, like uh, what are the four we deployed at so everything will be deleted there is no doubt at all right okay done then you can check terraform state list okay nothing will be there right so i was able to delete okay so what are the things that we achieved we achieved using you can create a bus you can create a event which bus you can create a rules you can create a rules okay then you can create an archive create an archive for your bus okay this is there is one more option called replay so we'll see how to create with the replay in the next video uh, using terraform so any questions feel free free to ask me so uh, even breach how even bridge works everything uh, we are going to help you okay thank you thank you very much let's see